Vaccine Opinions 100. Joshua Barasti against Ricards Bolanix. I hope I'm pronouncing their names right. But uh, I've watched uh, Joshua Barasti's uh, fight career and uh, he's really progressing. And they said that this would be a step up for him. And this guy, uh, uh, Ricard Balanistics, is a real, real tough fighter. I mean, he gave Joshua Boaxi everything that uh, he needed. Uh, Boaxi had to reach deep down inside everything that there is to let you know that you are a champion, I felt Joshua Boasi did tonight. I mean, he he, he has a chin, because uh, Ricard Balanix uh, hit uh, Joshua Boasi with some very good shots early in the fight. But Joshua Boasi uh, dropped Ricard Balanix in the sixth round, and uh, uh, Joshua Biloxi tried to get him out of there, but wind up punching himself out by throwing wild head shots. And uh, when he went back to the corner, Virgil, uh, is Virgil Hunter, or Virgil, yeah, Virgil Hunter, he, he was telling him that uh, he had to calm down. He was too excited. But this was a very, very good test. But uh, Joshua Boasi started to calm down and uh, land his jab, but uh, this guy, Ricard Boasi, still kept coming. I mean, he just kept coming and kept coming. He was uh, Joshua was, had started to, to the point where he just started to beat him up. But this guy, like I said, this, this is one tough boxer to, to, to face in the ring. Uh, hats off to Ricard on the last next. Uh, and forgive me for how I pronounce his name, but just Joshua Roxy wind up knocking out Ricard's ball on next in the eleventh round, like two minutes and three seconds into the eleventh round. So showing that he could carry his power uh, in the late rounds because uh, a uh, jump. Ricard Bolinix has stated early that jo uh, Joshua Boetsy had not been past seven rounds, so he was going to take care of him, I guess, past seven rounds and then try to uh, apply the pressure on him. But Joshua Boetsy, uh like I say, he, he answered every question to me, this is like my own personal opinion, that any boxer it's like on one of those nights where you find out who you are. I mean, he found out he had a chin, found out he can take his power deep into the rounds. Uh, he, he, had to, he had to gather a second win. He had to fight when he was tired, like in the seventh. After he had punched himself out in the seventh round, I mean, in the sixth round, when he came back, it seemed like Joshua Boise took off the seventh and eighth round. But Ricard Bolinix, he didn't take off. You know, even though he was beat up and he was tired, he was still dangerous and still throwing punches. But uh, Joshua Boise started to uh, regain control of the fight around the ninth, tenth round. Uh, he started to establish himself again by just using his jab and fighting at long range. He's a very good range fighter. You know, he got a few flaws that he got to work on, but it's like, who don't have a, a flaw too? You know, like, you just have to, uh, you know, be the boxer to, to point out the flaw and be able to uh, capitalize off the flaw. You can't capitalize off a flaw that you think you're seeing and then uh, it's not a flaw. But let me know what you think about this fight. And if you have not seen this fight, I always tell uh, people, you know, I can just give you clips from the fight. I wish I could, could uh, figure out how to give you footage, but 
this this go back and watch this fight uh, from beginning to end. Uh, if you're a boxing fan, you will love this fight right here. And and uh, just let me know what you think about Joshua Huasi versus Ricard Bolanitz. And uh, I'm out.